Hi everybody, I'm going to show you how we can implement an ammo system on the default uh, first person shooter template on Unreal Engine. So first things first, you're going to want to open your character blueprint. So head over here, first person character, double click. So I've already cleaned this up. If this looks a little different than your uh, first person character blueprint, I've just deleted some of these... Uh, useless uh, nodes that are only for VR. So if you want to clean it up, just copy how mine looks. I've, I haven't added anything yet. I've just deleted some of those extra nodes. Um, okay, so first things first, we're going to want to add a new variable. So let's head over here, click the plus variable. And let's name this ammo. Right, so, or actually, okay, let's name this current ammo. And then let's change the variable the variable type into an integer. So this integer, it will basically, we'll, we're going to use this to keep track of how much ammo we have left in the gun. So we're going to want to click this, uh, copy paste it, and then let's make another one called max ammo. So I think, all right, let's begin with, let's say six ammo is our starting, uh, max ammo all right so first things first we're gonna want to put a branch we're gonna want to add a branch over here and plug in this uh, pressed node into the branch and then we go true continue on so the condition that we're gonna give is is our current ammo greater than zero if it is then continue on as so we shoot as normally but if it is not, then we're going to want to print string and call this uh, no ammo. We're going we're gonna to want to know that our code is working correctly. And we want it to tell us that there's no ammo left. So, all right. So this is basically base code that we haven't changed. But we do have to add something here. So every time we do fire off this uh, projectile, we're going to want to set our current ammo. And we're going to set it to current ammo minus minus. And what this is, minus minus is basically taking whatever current ammo is and reducing it by one. And then we're going to set current ammo to whatever that is. So, uh, all right, let's print screen, print string two, just so we could see how much ammo is left every time we shoot. And let's try if this works. All right, so let's hit play and see if this works. So you can see on the top left corner there, it says five, we shoot again, it should say four, three, two, one, zero. Now if I click, no ammo, no ammo, no ammo. So you can see that our ammo system is working. Um, so let's quickly add a reloading, uh, section here so let's make a custom event for reloading let's custom event let's call it reloading or let's call it reload all right so when we reload uh what we're going to want to do is uh let's put a delay let's say it takes two seconds to reload uh Actually, let's do, all right, so when we reload, we're gonna wanna set our current ammo to our max ammo. Mm -hmm. So let's delete this uh, print string and let's call it the reload function right here. So let's hit play, see if that works. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. And then if I click again, now we go back to five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, everything seems to be working. Uh, okay, let's say we want to put a delay in the reloading. So let's say two seconds. Yep. Uh, but we're gonna wanna limit this, right? We're gonna wanna do once because we don't want to be reloading at a delay over and over again. 
so let's do reload um, and then to reset our reload we want to make sure that we have fired first so let's put this and plug this in reset compile and save and actually let's add a little uh, print string at the end of this so that we know once it's done reloading let's put done reloading compile save hit play five four three two one zero and then if I click again nothing happens two seconds done reloading and I should be able to shoot again five four three two one zero click again nothing happens and then we get the done reloading at the top left and then five four three two one zero all right uh, if you found this video helpful um, please leave a like uh, so that other people can find this video and uh, if you want to support us please head over to our play store page where we upload all our games for free uh, go ahead and play some of them go ahead and try some of them and we would appreciate it greatly if you left a review and a five-star rating thank you so much peace